Greetings everyone. I wanted to show you my July window, the display window I have on the side of our house. And obviously it's pretty much in red, white, and blue. The uh, background Peggy happened to find. It was 40% off and it was only $9.99 for a vinyl tablecloth. So we had enough for what, three windows? At least. Uh, if they uh, wear out. It took about a third of the tablecloth, it was so big. And thrifted um, the little foil explosion of stars that was thrifted and so at, at um, the pink squirrel recently and so was the other big star on the other side. And we just found two little airplanes that Norm put one of them together here in the foreground. And a lot of these things were thrifted last year, like Family Pathways had that um, big Uncle, Uncle Sam. Sam. I could not believe Peggy comes out of Family <laughs> Pathways with this thing, and nobody bought it. Yeah. And it was late in the season, too. It, it was amazing that he was still there. I, he must have been invisible to everybody. Yeah, well, people don't like spending over nine ninety nine, I guess. He might have been, do you remember, was he a little more than that? But he's older. Yeah, I don't recall. It was last year, but... Yeah, last year, and I didn't look it up. And we just found the two hats at Family Pathways. They were together for probably, I don't know if it was a dollar ninety nine for something like that for the two of them. They were stuck together. And the pinwheels we got at Family Pathways. And the stars hanging up. And this was, remember, when we were in Duluth. The thermos. The thermos we saw in the window for $5. Yeah, Peggy was filming me grabbing yeah. it out of the window. It's, um, it's been used, so it's got some scratches on the blue area there, but it's still very cute. Yeah. And all of these um, bell, uh, Liberty Bells were from last year. That's a... Uh... And Norm told you about his yeah. boat already, I assume. I don't know where he Couple got here. his car from. Well, actually, the car came from Peggy's brother Steve's house. He oh. had it in a uh, corner uh, display case. And it just sat there. Uh, it's missing the battery door component on the bottom. So when you put two AA batteries in it, they'd be exposed. Hmm. The problem is it's not working. I think there's a problem with the... Uh, the motor itself, but it's a cute display. Uh, the lights, these the little lights on the top of the engine, they light up, and I would imagine that if everything was working properly, it'd probably flicker back and forth. The sailboat is a sailboat I've had for quite some time, and I've actually used it in our pond. And I thought since it was red, white, and blue, I would bring it out here and put it in. It's in pretty good shape. I just seen one of these down in Stillwater here. Oh, a month ago, Peg and I were in an antique shop down there. And what do they want for that thing? $39 or $59? I think it was 59 Yeah, it was quite a bit. And it was in pretty good shape, but so was mine. Is mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got tool, dual rudders in the back, if you can see that back there. And I, I would Put a, uh, I'd tie a string to a bolt, <laughs> a heavy bolt, and then I'd just drop it in the pond out there and it would just kind of swing around from the uh, line going down like an anchor line. So that worked out pretty good. And we got some fireworks in here from uh, purchased over in Wisconsin. Got a big brick of uh, black cat fire crackers back there, but they're hard to see we got a lot of stuff crammed in here unfortunately a mosquito snuck his way in there and norm <laughs> said it's just too much work to open it right now when we wanted to show you at dusk oh and we just found i i just thrifted the little bear over there um little ty ty um mm -hmm. patriotic bear they were very expensive when they first came out and yeah. You know what's happened to Beanie Babies, unfortunately. Yeah. They, 
they really lost their value, but I got them for a dollar fifty. Just uh, yesterday. One of those uh, fads at, that didn't last at, very at, long. At an antique mall, only a dollar fifty. So I thought he'd be fun to add. It's a beautiful evening out here. No mosquitoes, actually. Biting uh, no, us. they're all inside the display window. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Yeah, just the big one. But these are little uh, toys that I had when I was a kid. You'd put a, a cap in it, and then you'd throw it up in the air. And when it came down, it would make a bang when it hit. And as you can see, way in back there, there's a red rocket. And that is on a pump. And that was one of my favorite toys when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I would take the rocket off of the pump and I'd fill the rocket up with water. And I'd fill it up about three quarters full. And then I'd put the base pump back on and I'd pump and I'd pump and I'd pump. And I had this when I was a kid and I'd pump it as hard as I could. And then I would just go out into the middle of the yard and I would pull the trigger and that would release the rocket from the pump and that thing would shoot way up in the sky. Hmm. They were really fun. I actually had a two-stage one. It was a rocket and then it had a ball on the top of it. So it would go up so far and the ball would eject off the top of the bottom rocket and then the main rocket would go up and continue up. And it's just very, very hard plastic. So it just came down and landed in the yard or in the street. Didn't hurt it at all, but that's the one I had from when I was a kid. Did you show them the cute little plastic alligator up there? Yeah, I was starting to talk about that. It's not why. red, white, and blue, but it's... Cute. I know, but he's red, yeah. so I thought I'd stick him in there. He's uh, trying to patrol the waters next to the catamaran here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, got to look out for him. I didn't even think of that. And we got some big bottle rockets in the back there. A couple over there. And a couple over here. And then these things down here, right in front of the mosquito, it's called a single parachute day. When you shoot that up, it shoots straight up in the sky and then it opens up a little parachute and parachutes back down. Oh. I haven't tried one yet, but I'll get around mm. to it. And you can see our money is going up in this value instead of a penny being so small. This is a big one. <laughs> I so that. I think that might be a good... I think Family Pathways. Family Pathways, you found that out? I, yeah. I well, it's that. heavy. Maybe it's all copper. If it's copper, it's worth a heck of a lot more than a penny. Yeah, and it probably cost me way more than a penny. <laughs> I am sure it did. It might have been 99 cents. This is an Avon bottle. Okay. So that plastic, t that's glass in the bottom, and then that's plastic on the top. Yeah. The piece is plastic and comes off. And this one over here, the real brassy big one in back is a bank, a metal bank. Oh, cool. And the one in front, the little one, is a bell. And I found all of those last year. Okay. I think it, that, that, that tablecloth in the back just really made it fun. Yeah, that, that worked Very, out. That really made it, I think. That worked out pretty good, honey. Very good. Good job. Really lucked out. All right. So, yeah, it worked well, out really good. Nice we job. We wish you a happy 4th of July and continue on through the rest of summer. Yes. Let's go inside and see what Peggy's got. Yes. Okay. This is what everyone outside from the street and our neighbors across the way can see on our door. It is huge. Um, what they call a fan. And it's just a real thin tissue paper. Very, very thin tissue paper and of course you open it all up with two sticks that I tied together at the top up there. I just found those at what? Oh, an antique mall. The uh, in Hutchinson, the Main Street Antique Mall. There were two of them in the package and so they were all folded up and it was very hard to notice this package. It was laying down near the floor in a basket. And I just saw that it was stars and stripes, so I pulled it out. I didn't know what it was, and I started looking at the package. It had a very old sticker on it that said $10.50. And a tiny little old, old sticker. And I turned it over, and it said $3 is what the antique 
uh, booth was asking for it for the two of them. So when I showed it to Norm, I said, uh, this would be fun. They might be too big for your window, but we could probably put it on the door. So he said, well, let me see what it looks like. Take one out. So I pulled it out and opened it up and I could see written on this, the stick part. It said, uh, made in West Germany. So, you know, that was a very old package. And to think that the two of them were $10.50 originally, but we got them for $3. Yep. I think that's really a deal. One of my viewers named Selena, who lives in Virginia, found these two gorgeous, very large birds. I think those I've had the longest, but these were irresistible. I could not believe she found these in a thrift store for $8.99 each. I was very willing, of course, to work with um, paying her for the shipping and everything through PayPal. Everything worked out just wonderful. So I'm assuming they're California pottery and very vintage. They're heavy too. I was thrilled. Thank you, thank you again so much, Selena. I found these two little turquoise votives. I don't know that I have two of anything in royal blue, except maybe one very large votive that's more in a royal blue. But I did not take that out because I just found these at um, the big dog's place that I had so much fun at. Everything was so cheap. She is trying to sell the store. So everything was 25% off and these were like maybe only a dollar ninety nine each to begin with. So yeah, I, I thought it was really a good deal and I didn't have two turquoise ones. I do like mixing turquoise um, with the royal blue. As you can see, they've kind of done that in this kind of pottery. I love finding this very, very textured pottery lately. I found a green one. Well, maybe two green ones. One of them is quite small. But um, I found a turquoise one too. It's more turquoise with maybe a little bit of blue and white. But these two were my two uh, very blue ones. And like I said, they do have a touch of, just a touch of turquoise in them. And if I remember correctly, they were actually different makers. I really didn't know what I could do with this vase. I love this California vase. It does have C-A-L, or, or at least it says U-S-A indented on the bottom edge of this vase. Many years ago, we got this at the State Fairgrounds Antique Show. But I, I love using it with the birds because it is the same color, white pretty much, even maybe a little lighter. And I love the gold on it. So it just goes really well out here. But I didn't really know what I could put in here that would work well for a 4th of July look. Uh, to me, this looks like fireworks. So we'll just say that's what it is that I'm trying to represent there. I didn't have any white flowers and I don't think there's too many blue flowers, so. Over here, I just decided to put a couple of uh, the thrifted vases that I found. I just pick them up, different sizes, when I find them in the thrift stores. This one here, uh, I think was $3 just recently at a Family Pathways. I thought that was a good deal. It looks to me like Pilgrim Glass, possibly. And this is Crackle. So that is very pretty. Also thrifted. All of these mirrors are thrifted. I keep changing my mind on what to put up there. And I don't know if I'll keep those. They do uh, bring out the black of the shelves. The smallest one to the bottom left is all gold. And they are just thrifted. I know they're new. 
you can find them easily. So over here, I've had those and found them at a thrift store for $3 each. And I thought it was a real deal because I thought they were vintage and I since decided they are definitely vintage because they're heavier and thicker than what I'm seeing that looks like reproductions out there. Those two white things on our door, I have explained before. That's a little alarm that we set just by pushing, sliding a button up. It's a very loud alarm if anybody did try to push the door open. I didn't really have anything so patriotic to put on the front door. So I just found another one of my newly thrifted. I really love it. It's so layered and a texture, a beaded uh, design around the actual mirror. I thought that was a lot fancier than one I had seen similar that I had thrifted, did not have that beading. So I just put that there for now and I'm trying to take some of my vintage plaque type things that have been around the house for a very, very long time. This was one of the very first big metal pieces, metal and pottery pieces that I chose to purchase oh, 20 years ago. Um, it was pink pottery, but I accidentally broke it in many pieces. I managed to get it glued back together again and I asked Norm to spray it gold because of the cracks, mostly in the backside. And it's gotten chipped since on the front there. A couple of spots that we're going to have to touch up. It, it was in the closet, not being used. Because we brought home so many nice things from my brother Steve's house, from his estate. So uh, it wasn't getting used and that's how it got broken but it's been horrible, windy, windy, and very, very muggy hot weather. No conditions to be spray painting outside. So it has not been touched up yet, but I do want to have it there. And I did find a decorative, better hook to hang it on instead of having it rest on a nail like I did before. I probably showed it in a video a long time ago in the living room and it was just resting on a nail. So this I feel much safer about. And I have shown you this a long time ago. I found it in Moorhead, Minnesota. We were antiquing up that way, actually on the way home from my brother's older brother's funeral. My oldest brother passed away in 2019 and we had never been to antique malls up there and there's some very nice ones, but it's a long trip for us. So that was only, it was either like 14, $14, I think. What a shock. It is so elaborate and I just love it. It's a little wild, I know but I like it. It's like a peacock or something. Over here on the shadow box, I love miniature glass pieces. They're just so easy to work with on these shadow boxes or my metal shelf upstairs that has three shelves on it. And of course, they're not very tall in between. So I think glass on mirrored, mirrored shelves like this, the shadow boxes is very fun. So I try to get them when they're very, very reasonable. So those are the ones down there. And I have two of those, one on each side. I just recently found the second one. I had the first one possibly 10 years. I don't know why I never found a second one. Maybe I did and it was just too expensive. 
I had this bottle for quite a few years and I showed it in previous red, white, and blue or winter blue and turquoise type videos. And I always felt that was pretty lonely. But when I went in, let's see, that's the treasure shed with Norm. Just last week, there were at least eight bottles, different sizes, and not these fancy ones. I'm talking very simple, small, mod-shaped, odd, larger mouth type vases, and these three bottles here. I was just thrilled. They were $10 for the whole batch. It was either eight or 10 pieces. So I wasn't crazy about all of them, but I was very crazy about these adorable bottles. I knew that they would really be wonderful to add to the little grape one on the end, and it did work out very nicely. And this one here I showed last year in my patriotic kitchen shelving of the Statue of Liberty. It's possibly for, uh, previously for SERP. I don't know, different people say different things. Maybe it did, maybe it was used for different things. But I also had thrifted this, what to me appears to be an old little paper flag, very thin paper. So I do believe that's older. So I thought that made a nice center design. And I had this little basket last year and the votive. And I just found this basket just a week ago or so. And that is much darker. So that is what I ended up with. I really do like mixing the different shades of blue. I like the turquoise mixed in. Since I have more that way then to work with, so let's go to the dining room. I think before I show you the dining room, I'd like to show you, I just put a few red, white, and blue things on our desk. Because I had them and I thought it would kind of gradually flow into the dining room having the turquoise and the blue in it. The living room, I did not decorate for July. It's still a summery reds and oranges and greens in gold, of course. So I did not change that, but I brought my brother's very cool red desk lamp back upstairs. I had it off for a previous video and I had shown this crazy what I think is a hobbyist egret of some kind that I showed last year and I found that probably at the Goodwill and I just found this very fun hobbyist probably really neat footed mod drip glaze planter for $2, I think it was. It is very, very fun. It did have a fracture on one side and I glued it, filled it in with a little glue. And it doesn't bother me. It was just too cute to pass up and it went so nicely with this bird. Now this is something very different it was at my brother's house. I have to put the light on. It's already 8.30 at night, so the sun is starting to set. So it's not quite as bright in here. I found this on the internet and was extremely surprised. It's probably an ashtray, right? Because of the way the tail is shaped. It's heavy. And it's, I found out it's bronze, not brass. 
it's bronze. And it said made in Israel. And I did show you, we did break down and purchase a white phone. We had a tan one from my brother, but this white one is a dial. Uh, the other one was push button. So we were pretty tickled to find that. And this was a big purchase. I'm going to get way down here. It says General Electric, and I'm sorry for the glare. Um, it is running. It, it's a very, very fancy face on it, the plastic. I fell in love with it at, uh, there's a antiques on Main Street in Ho Hopkins, Minnesota, a really great mall that we will be filming if we could get ourselves not so busy. We have been invited to come and film it, and it's just wonderful. I always find so many cool things there. So I hope you like that adorable clock. I Norm just loves it too. He thought it's pretty neat. And look at the hands on it. Aren't they fancy? I just can't get over this uh, plastic, clear plastic edge on it. Isn't that just really cool, huh? Yeah, I love it. Okay, so that's what I put on the desk to just kind of flow here into the dining room and kitchen with lots more blue to show you. It's been so windy here for so long. It's a good thing when it's very, very hot and it has been really hot here too. Not too, too many days that were extremely humid with the high heat. Uh, my perennials are all getting very big. That's a little pile of corn out there. The male and female are out there. He is on the far left. And she is right behind those purple irises on the back island. I don't know why they're sitting so far apart. But they've been here all afternoon. That is Joe Pieweed, the tallest. Phlox is on your left, the second highest. And that is some grassy plant that I never remember the name of it because it's so new and so unusual, I just can't remember the name. But I have two of them. There's one that I planted out by the boat. Just off the end of the dock out there, and the grass is behind it too, so it's a little hard to tell. But everything is growing. Not every one of you is probably willing to do this to make a video, but I shut our furnace off. I'm getting warm. Oh my, it says in the house it's 76.8. And that sounds cool, but it really is not feeling that way. I believe it's the humidity. We've always had like 50 to 60% humidity in the house all summer long. Very difficult to get rid of. I found this new tablecloth that I am in love with. I did not press it, forgive me. Just didn't have the time but it comes out quite beautiful out of the washer and dryer. I just want to show you the texture. It is not the real smooth um, fabric, real smooth, smooth, like most tablecloths are vintage tablecloths. I wanted to share just some vintage glassware on here. I did show in a previous video, these are Avon perfume bottles that were meant to be salt and pepper set and it was sonnet cologne in there and this is a very turquoise colored toothpick holder your daisy and button sorry to be shaking the phone a little bit there so 
I did my best at just coming up with something crazy. It's all I happen to have in the house. I did not go searching for red, white, and blue flowers. That would have been fun, but this is a lighter blue. And this is also, I believe these are called nappies. And it's also um, very turquoise. So I just put some of our favorite M&Ms in it. Dark chocolate. I separated out all the other colors. That's a chore, but it's kind of fun. I like taking different color combinations out like that. I do that in the fall too. Take out all the blue ones. <laughs> Maybe the red ones too, just to have the more you know, yellow, orange, and brown ones together. So that's what I came up with for just a little something on this adorable, very cherry tablecloth. I was so happy to find that. Over here, again, this is, um, I don't remember. My memory is really getting bad every year, so I apologize for that. I'm just not going to be able to tell you anymore. The prices of things, I would have to have lots of notes, and I just don't really want to do that. That's going to take a long time. A lot of you probably aren't even all that interested. But you know that I thrift things as much as possible and as cheap as I can get them. I would rather have more fun things and at cheaper prices, I guess, by checking out the thrift stores and, you know, antique malls. They really do sell things very cheap in some of the antique malls that I go to. I'm sorry for the glare. I could try the light again to see what happens here, if that will help. Let's do that. I think that helps. Yes, you are going to see a little bit of the light down there or up above. But I did just purchase these two Avon bottles, Cardinals, uh, with plastic heads on them at the Duluth Marketplace. And a lot of you, I hope, have seen the video where I found the two huge dove statues. So yes, I did show at the end of that video that I got those two cardinals. I, I knew that I would just love to have them for winter decor and this time of year too, for July is great. I just happened to find a couple little bouquets of these tiny little carnations and I really do love them last year. So I did use them last year. I love them. I wish I could find more. I would actually use more of those because they're so tiny and sweet. So this is what I used. I do try to look for baskets or little vintage pictures. I believe the dark blue one on your left is the newest one that I found. I'm very fortunate that I have managed to gather um, enough of them to, oh, did that attract a little tiny gnat or something? Did you see that? <laughs> I think, I think I saw something flying by and you know, they're going to be attracted to my flashlight here. <laughs> well, that was funny. Go away, bug. So I love these and I especially like that one with the eagle on it. I know it's not real great to show it through the glass there, but I do like to have my glass doors on because it just looks more like a hutch to me. I had them off for a very long time. Up here are three, four new things. And Norm surprised me with this from uh, the treasure shed. I was looking at it and admiring it, not intending to buy it. 
I think he got a better price on it offered to him because he went back and was looking in there when we were ready to check out and of course I was somewhere else I didn't know he was doing that I'm always dragging behind of course I check the shelving very closely not him so much he kind of browses and looks for his things so I was still looking and then he checks out and gets this beautiful Fenton Um, bell. It is signed in the back. Let me try to turn it around here. I'll ring it for you. Nice quiet little ring. Hand painted by Jay Huffman. Stars and Stripes 2001. So he surprised me with it. I had no idea he was getting that. It's a very sweet piece for the 4th of July. This I found at, fam no, the pink, the pink squirrel sale. I found so many fun things and everything was so cheap. This was only like a $1.25, $1.75. Um... It needed a good cleaning, but I managed to get it clean. I saw these in another small town out west of us. They had quite a few of the fancy bottles like this, Avon bottles, and they were asking like $20 for them. I thought, oh, I was looking for her, but I passed that up, and I'm glad I did because I didn't know I was going to find it so cheap at... Uh, the pink squirrel. Yeah, we don't go to the pink squirrel every month. So that was most likely 1976 that that came out. And then I was admiring this in the same window as the bell. And it would be nice, nicer maybe if I didn't have the flashlight on, but it is be beautiful, <laughs> beautiful Bavarian crystal. Nice little small basket. I thought it was gorgeous, but I wasn't going to get it. I just said, Norm, isn't that pretty? And he thought it was very cool. He really liked it, so he just, again, wanted to surprise me. I've had these two sweet little bud vases on both sides. The milk glass one. I don't know who made that. And the pretty red one, they're very small. And my sister just gave me this blue one. Very nice art glass. I don't know who made it. Thank you, Melissa. I really like it. It worked out very nice for the patriotic decor and it will look nice in the winter months too. Thanks a lot. A lot of you, like me, love these stretch faces. And I think this is probably my favorite small bud vase. Very, in my, a milk glass, I should say. Very artsy. I don't know who made it. This is the hobnail and a fairly recent purchase, I believe. I had the other bigger red one for probably a couple years at least. So that made a nice little arrangement there too. I put George down here to show you. It says his dates. Yeah, 1799, 1732 to 17 looks like 99 George Washington so there's a signature on there I loved the stars on that I just thought that was so cool and so fragile looking and this one is so nice too you do see it every once in a great while I will run across the flags and the eagles and the fleur de lay is that what that is I think and this is 
um, Niagara Falls. That is also a very pretty one. And I have my owls up there that I've shown you. And I put this one up for summer. Uh, probably one of my most recent ones. I think I got it for only $3. Very rare. I've never run across it anywhere. I found it in Red Wing at uh, a large area room where the owner had passed away. So they were selling everything very reasonable. Everything was marked way down. Sorry about the flashlight glare, but I think that's better. It is now going on nine o'clock. I'm so late. Norm turns into a pumpkin at nine o'clock. He's going to be melting. He's downstairs waiting for me to get finished. Melting because the air conditioning is off. Uh, I got to do it. Oh, yeah. Up here, I've never moved it. That's Columbus. Yeah. I still like having these old plates. It is part of our history. Down here, I found one of Norm's favorite candies, Tootsie Roll. Kind of cute, the way they had them wrapped. And Norm also likes these uh, melty mints. He likes those. He carries them in his pocket and once in a while likes to have one. So there is yellow, of course, still here because of all those dishes. And that coffee pot. So I did have to leave some yellow glasses, three, three of them in here. But I did bring out some other ones, these two red ones. Maybe I didn't have that blue one in there either for Easter. Don't remember. I tried to stick with some pastels, so that may be a new addition, but I did leave the yellow ones in there because I just don't have enough. This is a new find. It's hard to tell, but there is a head there. That is the guy, the husband, with a, looks like he's got a toupee on to me and a big mustache. And she's coming around the corner with um, a tea kettle for probably to bring him some tea or something. Just like the lady in the background of the red one. It's the same figure, only she's bringing tea to these two ladies sitting there. So that blue one is new. This red one is new. The two red and white ones on the end I've added new. Uh, these may have all been out for Easter. I would love to find the same two blue ones. Again, one of each. I think that would help make a lot more of your red, white, and blue collection, maybe sometime. This is what I felt was the most fun fireworks video. There is music and sound. I really liked it. It does change to different things. Um, nature Sounds, I believe, was who did it. So I will leave a link for you in the description below. I think that is really fun. So I did not put the sound on to make a lot of noise for you. Over here, I was thrilled to recently find this moon and stars on the left, the red candy dish, very big one for $12 at Frank and Bessie's in Monticello, Minnesota. I think if not, I will put a note there too. I'm thinking that's where it is. Um, a place where we go at least once a year. Very great deals. It was only $12 if I hadn't said that yet. I thought that was a very nice price. 
beautiful condition. And normally I'm buying these, which I was, for winter. I have um, some very pretty tall candy dishes that I absolutely love that are the clear glass with a very nice finial on them. But I was amazed when I found this because it weighs a ton. It is leaded crystal and it just is gorgeous to me. I could not believe the size of this finial. The lid alone, you would not believe how heavy it is. Very, very nice detail. Wow, look at all the color coming out inside from the video. That's cool. And it was at a very fun shopping trip. I was looking for patriotic stuff um, probably at least three weeks ago or more. It was $14 or fourteen fifty, I could not believe it. I was like going crazy. I said, Norm, this is unbelievable for $14. And I thought, you know, that would be so pretty to represent white. Many of you know, I did have Norm put all of my large milk glass candy dishes an apothecary, at least one big apothecary up there, on the freestanding wall that separates our kitchen and living room. So you can see them from both sides. I just thought, I was so excited at the idea to put them up there and be able to look at them all the time in such a fun place where they're lit up. I'm so glad that he thought that was a good idea too and was willing to get up on a ladder and do that for me. So I hope you've seen that. I will show it when I get to the kitchen. But I just couldn't wait to show this pretty, huge, extremely heavy candy dish to you. I was thrilled. That was from Antiques 101, I should say in Rogers, Minnesota. I always find lots of goodies there and their prices are very reasonable. So we go to um, two very big antique malls there, right across the street from each other. The other one is the um, Antique Mall of Rogers. Yep, they're both on Main Street in Rogers, Minnesota, where my brother lived, just down the street from them. So that is such a fun video. Let's go look at the corner showing. On my little vintage metal corner shelf, I decided to put three different vases and I believe I got this a year ago. I think it was from the Goodwill. I don't recall the price, but it was a very good deal. Or I wouldn't have gotten it. I love putting the white plates behind things like this. I think it lights them up a lot nicer. I do have my flashlight on, which helps. So that one is very pretty ribbed vase as well as the one on top, but ribbed in a different direction. I just found that this one here is considered early American press glass. I've had it for a couple of years now. I found this thrifting or a very good deal in an antique shop. I just can't remember that either. But I just um, used the Google lens and it pulled up McKee. And it said it was a salary vase. I'm sure not familiar with that sort of thing. 
That's a pretty fancy thing to serve salary in, right? Wow. I'm impressed. And it was called Sunburst. So that was cool to finally have looked up. Yeah, that's neat. And this I just got at um, an antique place. Yes, it was the Treasure Shed in Hutchinson, Minnesota. Just a week ago, we were looking for some patriotic things there, and I found this for only $2. I thought, wow, that's a real steal. There's no chips on it or anything like that. So I think I lucked out on that. I think that's a, a fun, simple design for this month. Well, I'm sorry, but I better end this video here. It's gotten pretty long. I think it would be more fun if you come back to visit and see what I found new for kitchen collectibles. So I won't keep you waiting too long. You have a great rest of your June, and I will see you before the 4th of July right back here. Thanks again for watching.